most important common question you know definition types causes and difference between acute and chronic inflammation also cardinal feature of acute inflammation you have to remember without any time dilation major components of inflammation then events of inflammation this simple and easy but very much important question i shall discuss with you today fire inflame Flame means fire, inflammation, both acute and chronic. So where the flamingo? Yes, it is a hot thing. It was named from a hieroglyphics. Inflammation means to set fire. Where it occur? In medical science, inflammation occur in vascularized tissue. Why occur? It is a reaction of vascularized living tissue or dead. Why it occur if any offending agents? It is actually a defense mechanism. So, what is the definition of inflammation? It is a reaction of vascularized living tissue to infectious and damaged tissue. Another part is it brings cells and molecules of host defense. Another part from the circulation where it is needed. And last part in order to eliminate the offending agents. So definition of inflammation includes four parts. It is a reaction of vascularized living tissue. It occurs due to infection or damage, tissue damage. Here cell molecules act as defense mechanism and it occurs due to elimination of offending agents. Now, classical signs of acute inflammation. What are the signs or cardinal features? Yes, you know, heat, redness, swelling, pain, and loss of function. You also know calor, rubor, tumor, dolor, and functional lesser. Firstly, plus four was included, and Varsha added the functional lesser later. 
have you seen the cardinal signs of intervention in yourself? Can you remember? Just show. When touch anything too hot, there is redness, there is increased temperature, pain, swelling, and also difficult to work. So, commonly seen features, cardinal features, all seen in our fingers. Even our buccal mucosa or tongue, when it is too late for class and we take a very hot cup of tea or coffee rapidly, there is inflammation and features we realize. Atrogenic cause, but there are features of inflammation cardinal features you see so never forget heat redness swelling pain and loss of function these are five cardinal sign or features of inflammation why this occur Due to some physiological responses, heat, it occurs due to increased blood flow and due to elevated cellular metabolism, redness, due to vasodilation and increased blood flow, soiling cause, all together, and pain due to, why, mediators. It is a primary protective response. No. Name some inflammatory disease. Mention, please. Yes. Appendicitis, chronic cholecystitis. These are inflammatory disease. So prefix it is when you name inflammatory disease. Also there are some exceptions such as bone disease. No it is here. Now acute inflammation. Who types inflammation as acute and chronic. When acute Acute means short term response. It is an immediate and early, also known as short term response to an injurious agent. What is chronic? Yes. It is inflammation with prolonged duration. Also, three simultaneous forces must act together as inflammation, tissue distraction, and attempt at repairs. What are the difference? What are the difference? In case of acute inflammation, duration is minutes to days. In case of chronic, weeks to years. It is characterized by fluid and protein, known as exudate. Also, plenty of cells. Chronic inflammation characterized by mononuclear cells. So, acute inflammatory cell, very important by question, acute inflammatory cell is polymorph nuclear cells or neutrophil and macrophage. Chronic inflammatory cell, mononuclear cells like lymphocytes, plasma cell. So, what is exudate? It occurs when in vascular variability increase. It is rich in protein and cell and more specific gravity than transudate. Edema include 
Edina is exuded and transmitted. Why inflammation occur? Inflammation is painful. It causes disfiguration or swelling. So normally, we don't know inflammation. We don't want inflammation. Although it is preventive, although it is, although it is protective. If there are any stimuli like infections, bacterial, viral, or parasitic trauma, physical and chemical agents like thermal injury, tissue necrosis due to any cause, foreign bodies like splitter, dirt, and suture body, foreign bodies. Immunological reaction also an important cause. These lead to a complex reaction is vascularized living tissue known as inflammation. Look at the picture. Owned. After owned. Local some reaction occur also nerving vessels show some changes due to what there is increased permeability increased blood flow so the area becomes swollen due to extravasation of both fluid and cells what are the activity of the cell the offending agents are entrapped within the cell, they engulf and destroy and ultimately eliminate and repair the area. Also there is another process showing precapillary arterial, capillary and postcapillary venous in case of inflammation. Components. What are the components of major acute inflammation? Components are vasodilation, increased vascular permeability, which occur in microvasculature. Both two are vascular change. Extravasation or maturation of cells or polymorphs from the vasculature to the site of injury. So, there are two types vascular events and cellular events. In next class, inshallah, we shall discuss elaborately what are the vascular events and cellular events. Let's start together. The vascular change. Two types of vascular change. Change in vascular flow and caliber. Increased vascular permeability. For the change in flow and caliber, There are some states transient vasoconstriction, thin vasodilatation. Vasodilation leads to exudation of protein rich fluid and stress is within the vessel. Students, in next class, We shall elaborately discuss the vascular events and also the cellular events, inshallah, with photography. No more today. Thank you all. And hope you are preparing for the coming upcoming professional examination.
Thank you all.